Hello, this is Carrie from Lakeshireland Wine Blog, and you never see me unless I'm holding a bottle of wine in my hand. Is that right? So I recently, on Friday, stopped by a tasting room winery I had never been to before in Chelan. It is C3 Corral Creek Cellars. It's owned by Dana and Dave, and Dana is the winemaker. We don't have a lot of female winemakers in Washington State, so I was extra excited to meet her. They are kind of out by Walmart in the new up-and-coming little industrial district, and I think they have some expansion plans, but I don't want to give anything away. So the tasting started off with the other rosé, the still rosé. Let me just grab it out of a box here. I should have been a little better prepared, but I'm kind of winging it today. Here we go, the Corral Creek Cellars 2021 Lake Chelan Pinot Noir Rosé. I loved it, but that doesn't tell you much because I'm a big rosé fan. Fantastic color. It is in the Provence style. And she explained a whole bunch of stuff about how she made it, and I instantly forgot it because I had a crazy Mother's Day weekend. Crazy in a good way. Next, Coral Creek Cellars Bubbly Rosé. Yay, how fun. I'm saving this for Jazz Fest weekend, which is coming up. I'm going to possibly make mimosas or bellinis with it with my friend in the morning, but I suspect we're just going to drink it out of the bottle. No, I'm just kidding. We're just going to start the morning with it carefully and next two red blends that i was very surprised how much i enjoyed this is the xs red mountain uh, i think i need to have some glasses to read the back of what's in it uh, it doesn't say okay so i can't remember i had tasting notes but i wanted to mention that i enjoyed them both aha this one cab sauv cab franc carmenere merlot petit verdot and malbec from Red Mountain. And I like red blends because when I'm throwing a dinner party, I usually have a mixture of wine novices, wine snobs, and regular people like us that just enjoy good wine. And so I serve red blends because that way I don't have someone going, I don't care for Merlot, or I can't wine, I don't really like Syrah. Blends make it work and they pair with all the food that I cook. So this is what I took home, the X2 blend. The XS blend, these are both 2019s, super ready to drink. A bubbly rosé for brunch, and a regular rosé for sipping on my front patio at happy hour, which is how we roll in this house. Be sure to stop by Corral Creek Cellars. They have an adorable dog-friendly patio. The owners could not be nicer. I'm so excited to bring people back there. It was relaxing, even though you're right on the highway. I didn't notice any cars. We did hear a siren. We were worried about who was in it. Really can't wait to go back and take my friends there. Thanks for watching.